In this video we're going to look at adding tools to the Bobcam system. Now, in the cam tree, under cam part, you'll have milling tools. To add a milling tool or to add tools to the tool library available in Bobcam, you'll need to right click milling tools, and then left click tools. This will bring up the tools dialog. In here is a list of all the tools available in Bobcam. Let's say that we want to add a finish end mill. We'll go to end mill finish, and this gives us a list of the tools already available. Now we can modify an existing tool, or add a new tool, or delete a tool. Let's go ahead and add a new tool. So we'll click add. So we'll bring, bring up our end mill finish dialog. And here, let's say we have a 5 8 cutter. So we'll make this 0.625 with a 1 inch flute length zero for the corner radius. Let's say that this one has three flutes and overall length of three inches. And we'll say that this is tool number five in our tool carousel. Now for tool numbering, some shops reassign the tool numbers every time they make a program or use sequential numbering, tool one, two, three, four, five, then set up the machine. And other shops might have a larger tool changer where everything has already a pre-designated number. Now, if you use a pre-designated number, enter it here. Or if you just use any tool number, or use sequential numbering, it doesn't matter what number you'll enter here, then this can be overridden at the time of posting a job. Let's say this is tool 5 in our carousel, and our tool label is just going to be our description of tool. So let's call this a 5 eighths. We'll call it HSS, high speed steel, finish end mill. Or whatever description it is good for what you're going to use. Now, the feeds and speeds, you can either lock the tool to a manual feed and speed, so it always uses one feed and speed, or set it to system feeds. And this is where the software will calculate the feed rates based on chip load, according to the material that you have set up. We'll go ahead and choose OK. Now we can see that we've added our 5 8 high-speed steel tool, and this will be available to be selected at the time of programming. We'll go ahead and choose OK. We'll right click milling tools. Now hole sizes is a little bit different, but this has to do with setting up taps in the system. Taps are set up slightly different than the regular tools because they're associated to a drill bit size. So we'll come to hole sizes. Now in order to set up taps, you'll need to have already added the taps to the tools. And then in here, you can associate them to a drill. Let's say we come to our metric fine. And actually, let's go UNC. And let's use a quarter 20. Now, here we could see on the quarter 20, we have a cutting and a rolling size of drill that's associated with it. When you add a drill to the to the program, you, you can just select by tool. When you add a tap, at a later time, you'll see that you have to select your hole size. So you'll have to have this association for all your taps as well. So if you need to add a custom tap size or one that's not already defined in Bobcat, go to add tap, give it a label. This can be any description that you give it. We could call this one quarter 20 custom. Say so it uses a slightly different drill hole size than the standard quarter 20 or if we have a specific hole size that we're going to use in a different material. We have our diameter of the thread, our pitch, and then also the cutting size of the tap. Let's say we just make this one 0.2 instead of 2010. We'll choose OK. And now we have our custom tap that's been set up with the different cutting size of tool. So you have to associate the drills to the taps in hole sizes. As for other tools, they're just simply set up by right clicking the appropriate tool type, going to tools, and then adding. For taps that you've added, if we come in and add a rolling tap, 
we set up the tap the same as we would a regular tool, but then we also go associate this to the drill size under hole sizes. Choose OK. More information on setting up taps and setting up tools are available in the help system. If you need some more information on this, you can come up here to help, and then Bob Chem help. And let's go ahead and search the index. Let's say for tap. Tap hole sizes. Now we get some more information on setting up the taps, as well as more information on setting up tools. So we can just search the index if you need a little bit more information on setting up tools. And that concludes this video.